Hey y'all, what's going on? This is J. Maria, J. Marie Booklist, and today I'm coming to talk to you about how to keep the juices flowing as a health unit coordinator. Now, being a health unit coordinator, you know, is all about repetitive work and multitasking. And, you know, sometimes you get to a point where you're barely, barely even filing, you know, paperwork or checking orders. You just, it's just like you've hit a wall. So, you know, I got a list of maybe three or four things that, ways that you can just keep the juices flowing. Because, you know, sometimes you you like the job, but you just hit a wall and, you know, you need to do something to knock that wall down. So, you know, one of the things you can do is float to another floor. You know, I, I talked about it in the last video about working on another floor. You know, you gain experience, you see, you see new people, you learn new things. I mean, that's what I do. That's the reason why I've been a health unit coordinator for so long because I know when I, I've hit that wall and it's time, you know, I've hit the wall, but I'm not, I, I don't want to leave. You know, I, I like what I do. I, I actually love what I do, but I just know that I need something more. I have to keep the juices flowing. So I work on other floors and I have no problem with that. Um, another thing you can do is volunteer. Uh, volunteer to decorate the unit for the holidays. You know, we have a, a, the see, the holiday season coming up. Um, on the unit I work on, I think the only season that we really decorate for is Christmas because they have a contest throughout the hospital. But, you know, other floors, they decorate when it's Valentine's Day. They decorate uh, St. Patrick's Day. You know, it, it's always something going on. And, and just decorate the unit. I mean, if you don't have to, if you don't decorate the unit, like just go all out like we do for Christmas. But, you know, just put some, some Valentine stickers up or something, you know, just, just a little something to keep, keep you busy, to get you out of the monotony of, of answering the phones, answering the call lights, putting in orders, filing papers, something to keep, keep the juices flowing. Uh, another thing you can do is work on a committee. You know, hospitals always have committees and not all of them are just for nurses. You know, you can be a part of this committee or that committee, you know, just to keep yourself busy. Now you will have to, you know, come in on your days off and be involved and, and but your, your involvement, you're, you're working to improve the hospital and you're on the front line of what's going on. So like, you see what needs to be changed, but then you're also a part of the change because you're on the front line on implementing things that need to be changed. You know, that's another way to keep your juices flowing. So just, you know, just just keep in mind, just look for ways to, to you know, when you know you're not burnt out, you know you love your job, but you need something more, just just, you know, float to another floor, you know, decorate your floor or or get involved in a committee if you have any questions comments you can leave them below you can also follow me on my blog it's jmariebooklist.com bye